chick not very happy with you. So this is a little bit of an old video, but I thought quite an interesting one. So poor chick, she came in and she was quite sore on her foot. So automatically, you know, the first thing we kind of go for is probably a foot abscess. Um, so <laughs> poor Matt has to have a look. And to be fair, he um, he's really good at finding these abscesses now. We get quite a lot. Um, you imagine thoroughbreds and their feet and, you know, being in and out and all the change and stuff. So... Yeah, he, uh, he works very closely with the farriers when they're here, um, you know, to make sure that when they can't be around for things like this, that he can can find the abscesses and we can hopefully get them out and, and help them all. So, yeah, you see a reaction. She's like, ow! Um, they, they definitely let you know. Um, Is that the spot, girly? I think they're... Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Good girl. Oh, well done. Good girl. Okay, darling. We got it. Oh! That's a nice one. Okay. I'll hold it here while you get a poultice for it. No, just squeeze it as much out as possible. Good girl, good girl. Oh, sweetie, good girl. Well done. Here we go. Oh, baby girl! <laughs> you okay? We've sorted it. We found it. Yeah. You okay? Oh, look at that face. Hmm? You're doing your best camel impression. Yeah. It's okay. Is that? I bet that'll feel better, won't it? Yeah. That feel better. Good girl. Good girl. Got you out of work, didn't it, madam? I know. You like us a little bit more now that we've got you out of pain? Yes, because that was very painful, wasn't it? It was. Hmm? Very painful. So anyway, um, yeah, Matt manages to open up the foot um, to let the abscess out. Um, so the poor thing, the relief once it came out was incredible. Um, yeah, she was very, very sore, bless her. So anyway, we got them all sorted and yeah, just thought I'd keep this video on so you know you can see the process of him finding the abscess and then putting the poultice on. Um, so she was out for a few days, then we put the shoe back on, actually then she got a little bit sore and the abscess was a little bit more underrun than we thought. So she has a little pad oh, on her feet at the moment um, just because her sole of her foot was quite tender and she did have quite a bad abscess in there. Uh, this, this ain't coming off. <laughs> huh? This ain't coming off. <laughs> Tie you out to do foot poultices. Oh, that'll feel better. Here, do you want your better? Oh, I know, but it's going to help, okay? Oh, beautiful. Let's get you back in. Here we go. Come on. And we're off. On our first proper hack, hopefully, on our own. Um... Good girl. That's a scary lawnmower. <coughs> well done. So we are going to try and brave it. 
out onto the roads, aren't we, Chick? So you've got to look after me, darling, yeah? Do you know what? I don't even think we're going to make it because you're... I think you're feeling your feet a little bit too much, aren't you? So maybe we won't. We'll just go for a little hack around the farm then. So yeah, definite change of plan. Barrier's coming on Friday, so we're going to get hind shoes put on. Chick. But while we're out, we're going to go a bit off-roading, darling, okay? Um, find that way. Oh, here we go. Just a little bit of steering going on. Because I should be able to keep her... On. Yes, darling, I know the majority of the grass. But it's all good for her. All good learning. Right. Yeah. All vised out. Even got the fob to get in and out of the gates. Um, I'll speak to you soon. I can actually get my phone out, but there we go. We're just crossing over the Gary oh, Bridge. Back onto the grass, darling. Good girl. Well done. She's been so good. Hey, you're taking it all in, aren't you? I was actually going to enjoy a nice hack out on you. This one's just as good. It's your field over there. Right at the back. Yeah, nobody in it, because you're here. Right, I'm going to go, because we're going to have a little trot down here. A bit hard, because I've got the phone in my hands. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to trot. I'm going to give up in a minute. We are doing brilliantly. She's a bit nervous, but we're coping. Just wanted to show you where we are. Good girl. There was a deer up here and it's just gone into the bushes. We've made it most of the way around now. Good girl. You are so clever. We've had a few moments. But you know what? Fair play to her. She has absolutely trusted me this far. I mean, we've been out in the big open field. She knew she was coming away from home. And she stopped, but she's let me kind of get her back going. And you can feel her body. She's so nervous, bless her, but she is being so, so good. Anyway, I'm going to go in case this deer pops out. We're on the last part. And you know what she has? She's really chilled out. Good girl. I know. I think she's enjoyed this. It will actually have taken such a lot out of her again. Um, she's doing a lot at the moment. Not a lot as in kind of every day, but everything that we do with her, it is just taking quite a lot out of her. So we've just got to be careful not to do too much. Um, good girl, you are doing brilliantly. I have chatted all the way around. There we go. Actually, non-stop chatted to her. <laughs> good girl. Oh, my little sweetheart, we are so nearly home. She probably knows we're coming up towards the other horses now. So again, go. Okay. I'll speak to you all in a bit. So we've just come out of the woods. And bless her, she just stood, had a little look around to get her bearings. And she's chilled. I mean, she's been brilliant. And to be fair, I thought the boys on the other side, but those buggers up in there decided to come hooning down to see her. Um, and actually, she just stayed really chilled. I mean, look at her. I am so proud of her. There's a lot about this mare, especially a lot to like. Um, and I really, really do like her. Um, yeah, we've got just got to find the right person now. Somebody that wants a real, real nice mare to produce. Hello, boys. You all woke up then. Let me just see if I can. Hello. Vernon's got his back to us, still eating. Um, so yeah, real quality mare I think she is. Just need to find that right person now. Don't we? Hey, we do. Good girl. We survived our second off-road hack. I mean, the first one was really small. But no, this one, she's amazing. Weren't you? Made a lot felt quite tense but you've done it and now for you walking home that's the bit I really really like about her um, you know she seems to keep switching off which is always a good thing when that little switch keeps going that's not a good thing so no she's um, really really smart I just need to get her out and about a little bit more now um, but we're gonna keep doing that once you've got your back shoes on lovely then 
get you out properly onto the roads. Good girl. Hey, you clever girl, aren't you? Well done. Superstar. That ends another day. I'm done for the morning. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.